Okay, everybody, welcome back to the second part of this uh, scenario. Uh, he's currently still waiting for the red here. Uh, right for the block to clear from that train that passed earlier. This would be my first time ever doing a video commentary uh, or gameplay uh, thereof. So uh, I'm certainly looking forward to trying these out. I would like to do some more depending on feedback, see how many views I get, people like them. Uh, I'd be glad to do more. Um, whatever route, anything that you guys want to see, I would love to try out. So, um, anyways, we're just sitting here waiting for the yellow. Uh, and once we get the yellow, we'll start to move ahead. I, uh, I've already set up my dynamics. Um, as you can see, they're already in setup mode. Um, that means they're ready to go as soon as I let off the brakes. That way we can just cruise down on the uh, dynamics. Um, I know we can't see it from here, but there's actually a speed restriction. Uh, 20 miles an hour, now that we got the yellow, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, 20 miles an hour down this part of the hill. I'm going to release the brake. Uh, once we start rolling, then I'll actually apply the dynamics. Um, so the lights are on. Let's go ahead and zoom back into the cab. I think I want to go in just a couple bit more. I think I like right about there. Most realistic. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start using 12% dynamic. I want to put a, a small lap, two, seven, under 10%, you know, one or two pounds at most, just so I can keep the tension uh, of the train, uh, excuse me, of the train nice and tight. So, um, just going to keep an eye on our speed here. We're going to stay at uh, 20 miles an hour, so let's apply uh, a little more train brake and obviously a little more dynamic. So let's get it up to 37%. That would be notch three. Yeah. Apply a little bit more. Seems like we're starting to pick up some speed. I'm going to go ahead and add another percentage here. I think we got about notch five. Yeah. And notch five seems to be a pretty constant speed. As you can see, uh, 20 is the freight speed limit. But we want to keep it nice and slow. Um, train brake seems to be good. Uh, speed seems to be pretty consistent. I haven't seen it drop below 16 or go over 16 for a minute. So we'll keep everything there. All we gotta do is hit our loader in case we are 30 seconds behind. Um, looks like we're starting to pick up a touch more speed. Oh yeah, just a little more brake, a couple more pounds. There we go. Check out some outside views while we're at it. Kind of the cab view. That looks cool. Nice, pretty view. Really did a nice job on this one. I'm going to get the side profile. You can see that they really did a good job on this. Let's check out a different view. Kind of a cool view, but we're losing speed, so I'm going to let off on some of the dynamics, uh, try to change the speed. I want to be timely here, you know, I don't want to be too late. And you see that uh, once I exited the dynamic brake, I lose the setup altogether. So I, I have to wait until the setup is ready in order for me to use it. Um, the nice thing is uh, we're kind of losing speed, so I could probably release the brakes and just let the hill take me down a little bit more. Um, and that's what I'm doing here. 
you can see we're really starting to pick up some speed. So let's make sure our dynamics are at least set up. Probably need to apply some brake. Dynamics will get rolling. We'll bring the brake back down. However, we're not putting too much wear on anything. Um, let's take a look at this sign here. It looks like uh, just a mile marker sign. Okay, I'm going to release the brake and just leave it to dynamics. Actually, give it about 2%, uh, 1 or 2 pounds at the most. I started picking up a little speed there, so I slapped the dynamics up to notch 5 again. Bring it up to 6. Add a couple more pounds of uh, brake. Really pretty sunset. That said, uh, the scenery on this game is just beautiful. So let's take a look and see where we're at. Um, you can see this we're going right through that spot. We're going to start catching a yellow up here pretty soon. Uh, I don't know if that other train... Oh yeah, another train is quite a ways up there. Alright. Head back, make sure we're not speeding or anything. <coughs> Excuse me.
All right, we can see now the block still in the yellow. So I still need to be cautious just in case the train ahead of me stalls or uh, stops finding me. So that way I know uh, when I have my bases covered. Uh, as you can see, we're coming down 2.3%, which is pretty steep. 37% uh, dynamics, 2% brake. Um, it's a whopping total of 7 pounds of brake pressure and then, of course, notch 3 on the dynamic braking. We seem to be holding pretty steady at about 15, 60 miles an hour. So uh, we'll just try to hold on to this pace. We'll just hit the alerter along the way. Um, that way uh, we don't throw the train into an emergency brake um, procedure. So uh, we'll just keep an eye on it, make sure our speed stays up, and uh, try to be there as timely as possible. As you can see, they did a damn good job on the model here. Um, it is just a match. Let's zoom out a little bit. Kind of see this model in general. Oh, he's kind of bothered. Pair of the beautiful engines. Just wish they were a little more weathered. Uh, I like those guys nice and dirty. A lot of others don't. Hey, back in the cab. I like it better in here. It's warmer. Probably release some of the dynamics. Um, probably really don't need to be doing you know 600 of the speed limit. I like to do about two or three hundred. Of course, I love the speed on here, but, you know, I don't like breaking the rules either. The beauty about being a simulator guy is you want to simulate what you're trying to really do. And, uh, right now, train simulator's where it's out. I gotta apply a little bit of the brake. Uh, I'm starting to pick up to 18 miles per hour. Right now, I seem to be holding pretty steady. I like this bridge, it looks pretty. Uh, any better views? Not really, huh? Oh, there's the rear. Get the DPU action, that's kind of cool. Head up, there we go, check out that bridge. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, whoever designed this route did a really good job. Um, when I was a teenager, uh, 13 years old, my dad had taken me on an Amtrak uh, for my birthday, and it was snowy then. Um, there is a snowy route that I like to do with the, um, uh, with the Amtrak Empire Builder. And like I said, I was trying to build a route for that, and I really want to do something where, uh, you know, you run the Amtrak to Stevens Pass. Just kind of like I said, a, a, mem a memorable, excuse me, a, a memorial, memorable, there we go, a memorable mention something that you can run some trains on. Uh, definitely want to do that route uh, in the cab, you know. So, uh, seems like we're picking up some speed. Let's get some more dynamics on here, 50%. Keep our speed down below 20, of course. Um, take a look at our map. There we are. Let's zoom out a little bit. Nice long train. Um, now we got a long ways to go.
pop the dynamics back down a little bit, try to keep our speed up around 80 miles an hour or so. Trying to see the river here. Oh, there we go. That looks cool. Looks like we're quite a ways up. At least the dynamics just a touch. Fine. Right now we're coming down to 2.5% grade, which is just a monster. Some rock formation stuff up here. That looks kind of cool. From the uh, falling rock debris, I'm sure that's what those are there for. This is with um, the EMB series, by the way. I installed the EMB series uh, True Light, and you can see. Um, let's take a little bit of frame rate cut. Right now we're at 30 frames per second. Let's crank it on, and we drop about two frames. Uh, and I like it on it. It just looks really nice. Um, the lighting, the ambience, the effect that it gives looks really pretty. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it off again, just to take a look at the difference. Now, like I said, I do get a little bump in frame rates. Um, but like I said, I like the lighting, so let's turn it back on. Uh, on, there we go, yeah, yeah. Uh, right now, i got the green signal. So we're looking good coming down the hill. <coughs> Hold a nice steady speed of 17. And at this, I am going to go ahead and pause the simulator, and I will be right back. 